At its $65,875 starting price, the TTRS asks for Cayman SN Corvette Grand Sport money, which is exactly where it should be. Even if it doesn't match the Corvette's lateral grip or the Porsche's prestige and handling nuances, the Audi compensates with style and daily driver utility. Unlike the Corvette, the TTRS's 65 grand worth of performance doesn't require an overt sacrifice in interior quality quite the opposite. More striking for what has been left out than what's been designed in, the TT's interior is a stylish masterpiece of simplicity and modernity. Audi omitted the infotainment screen that dominates the center stack of nearly every new car and moved the navigation and audio functions into the 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. The climate controls are neatly integrated into the very vents that warm and cool the cabin, leaving the center stack spare and beautiful. And although cramming so many functions into one screen has the potential to result in an unusable headache, Audi made it remarkably intuitive. The only flaw in the design is that the steering wheel spokes often obscure the rear view camera display as you back into or out of a parking space. With an engine that brims with character, a design that oozes style inside and out, and feverish straight line acceleration, the TTRS occupies its own niche within the sports car segment. It's a car worthy of respect, but that's not up to us to decide, is it? That's what the internet comments are for. And this deafening digital echo chamber, it appears unlikely that the Audi TT will ever outrun its reputation as a pretty face lacking sports car credibility. Thankfully, that hasn't stopped Audi from trying its damnedest to disprove that notion with its second generation TT RS. Armed with a kindergarten classroom's worth of hexagons and trapezoids, plus 400 horsepower from that quintessentially Audi turbocharged inline-five engine, the TTRS both looks and moves like a sports car, 